Hi, this is the Health Team Trials Workshop. Paul here. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about the new TRS RR for 2025. It has the new tech rear damper and fitting a spring to that. This is just a quick, easy way to swap your springs, get your spring rate right, which is so important for the suspension on a trials bike. Try and get your bike on a stand so you can get the rear wheel just balanced on the ground. You just want to not load that rear up too much, makes it easier to work on. You can see I've got a little scissor stand here. Um, crack those four little M6 screws on your airbox um, and the carby connection and just whip that off. That just slides off pretty, pretty easily once those um, bolts are undone. Now, first thing is just check the preload you have. So I'm just using a little scribe, but you can use a little screwdriver and I count the threads. Um, it's easier than trying to get a, any measuring device in there. And then undo that little grub screw so you can wind the collar off. So I'm just putting a little Allen key in there. You don't need to do much with that. Just two turns is enough, but just so you can wind that off. Um, you can use a C-spanner or any number of other tools. So I've got an Olin's one and a Riga one there. I'm using the Riga tool there just to wind that collar off and release the tension on that original spring. Um, you only need to do it a few turns and then you should be able to wind it all the way down by hand. Um, once you feel it getting loose, just grab the whole spring, wind it down till it hits the base, um, and that'll take the tension off the collar at the top, exposing the little um, circular spring clip that you can see there, and then we can get the spring out. Um, now move up to the top and remove your shock mounting bolt. Um, it takes a bit of force just to undo it, but if you've got the rear wheel in the right position, as soon as you've cracked that nut, it should come out pretty easily. Just be aware on that right hand side, underneath the nut and the ex mount to the exhaust, there is a little bush, so don't let that drop out. You can see me just removing that bush now. And once you slide that bolt out, that'll free the shock up and you can tip it back. Um, once we've got that shock, shock tip back like that, um, you can see we've got clear access now to remove that little circular clip. I'm just doing that with a flat bladed screwdriver, just popping it out of the channel. Um, just work that around, it comes away really easily. You remove the collar and that'll let you get the spring straight off. Tech make a bunch of springs for varying rider weights. Um, really important to have the right one. Um, you can see here there's a little uh, preload collar underneath a little washer they're specific to the spring so you've got to take that one off because there'll be one of a different thickness depending on what sort of spring you're putting on you can see they're engraved on the washer to show you which one they suit on our bench here I've just got the old spring and the old um, washer and you can see here I've got the new tech spring um, this is a heavy spring for the rider we're fitting this for and this is the washer or preload spacer that suits it. You can see next to each other they're quite different. Um, that's done so you're not putting more than a maximum of 10 mils preload on it and the springs vary in heights um, because of the manufacturing processes so this creates a, the spring heights all the same so you've got a standard reference point. Um, once you've done that pop the new washer back on just seat that down firmly grab your new spring Pop that on there, pick up your collar, get that collar on, and then we're going to put that retaining clip back on. I use a little screwdriver just to make that channel a bit more obvious. Just lever up against the collar, um, push that little spring clip on with your fingers. You'll get it most of the way into the channel, and then you might just need, like I'm doing here, just a little tiny tweak on it. You'll hear it snap into the groove. You want to really make sure that is on properly so it seats that and retains that spring properly. Now you've got that, let's do that top mount back up again, get the bolt in, um, push that through, remember to put your spacer back in, uh, roll that exhaust bracket back, put your nut on, tighten it to 50 newton meters. Um, then wind your preload spring collar up. Now we want to wind this up to the same spot as we did before. So match the number of threads. So you've got a standard reference point to start with. Don't forget to nip that little grub screw up 
um, doesn't need much. All we're trying to do is stop that rotating. So just a little tiny nip on that and we're pretty much good to go. A little lube on the inside of that airbox manifold always helps it slide on. Um, I'd usually fit this from the left side, but because of the camera, I'm trying to do it from the right side, but it still goes on easily. Don't forget that little clamp on your carburetor. Um, then the four M6 bolts to hold your airbox on, and you're good to go. Now, you can download from our site, uh, www.thehellteam.com, a manual for this shock. It's quite comprehensive and ex good explanations in it from tech on how to change things, um, how, to, how to pick a spring rate for different rider weights. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but that's it for today, and we'll knock another video off in the next couple of days showing you how to match it with a front set of springs as well that suits your weight. Um, this is a quick overview of the manual that you can download. But um, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.